it's the fifth film in the series. Obviously, a franchise has already been developed four films before. Um, I mean, you know, when you're, what sort of research do you have to do to, when you're conducting this sort of thing? I, I didn't hear the last sort of part. I'm sorry. Oh, um, well, you mean in terms of researching the previous films or researching sort of to do research to tell stories? Well, we had the best research you could have because we had the writer's room before this. They put, yeah. Paramount put together and Hasbro put together a writer's room two years ago. Uh, that's focus was trying to break new stories to try to create sort of a Transformers universe and so we spent about three days being educated on literally like going to Transformers school by Hasbro learning every single thing there is to know across all the different platforms they've had from the cartoons to the manga to the other movies and they have a 14 billion year history that spans all of that so then what we decided to do Akiva Goldsman ran the room and we sort of took a linear approach and said look on that time frame what are movies that could fill in those gaps so so that sort of that education we brought to actually writing the fifth movie, and obviously as writers, I mean, you know, you know what's happened in the other four films. I mean, what did you personally want to see happen in this one that will get the the fans excited for more to come? Gosh, I think just opening the movie in an unexpected way is surprising, and then the movie keeps going from there. I think just going in a way you're not expecting from a Transformers movie. I think people people think they know what they're going to get now. Like, oh, it's a Transformers. I kind of know what I'm going to get. And this should subvert that expectation at every turn. How's that I answer? Think one of the big things was that we were able to take all of the goodwill that Optimus Prime and Bumblebee have uh, gotten, gotten over the years and then take the, those characters in this movie and push them in further and in a new direction. And I think that was one of the most exciting storylines for us to develop, which is Optimus Prime goes in this not Optimus Prime direction, mm -hmm. and Bumblebee um, finally goes from being sort of that ha more happy-go-lucky fun guy to stepping up and you know confronting his father figure in a way. That was really exciting for us, I think. And it was only because of you know, the movies that have come before it that we were able to do that.